most of these calls. This is the weekly State of the Nation. Uh, for all the guests who are on this call who have never been on a State of the Nation, this is the weekly call where I, uh, Sebastian Greenwood, the first position in the network and uh, the master distributor, uh, I give you updates based on the information I receive from the company. So uh, this is quite an important uh, call. Uh, we do give uh, information based on things that are going to affect the network and also things that uh, are very important for the company. So of course this week is uh, a week where we uh, kind of come back from all the high energy that we had from uh, both the Macau event that was uh, just recent and also the split that uh, definitely was uh, really pushing up the, the volume uh, into the sky. But the good thing is, of course, is that people still understand that it's all about duplicating down. It's all about bringing in new people uh, in, in this opportunity to be able to actually mine the coin as much as possible. Uh, it's all about mining and uh, therefore, you know, anybody who has not had the opportunity to come in uh, to this, uh, to, to, to OneCoin yet, it's still a very, very good time to come in because we are the only ones who are allowed to mine this coin. So this is what it's all about. And uh, I know a lot of people who have been waiting uh, to see the development of OneCoin uh, and joined uh, late than earlier, but did get offered earlier to join, and uh, now I can obviously see that this is a uh, a big company and it has a lot of uh, members already. So of course the confidence level today is different from what it was probably back in uh, in early 2015 or even in the beginning in uh, November December 2014, but. It's always like this, first mover advantage. If you come in early, of course you'll be mining coins at a very, very low rate. In the beginning when we started the mining uh, back in January, uh, the mining uh, difficulty was only five tokens per uh, coin. And this of course has changed a lot due to all the members who are coming in and starting to to use their tokens in the packages and mine the coin of course the mining difficulty has increased so for example a member who was mining uh, back in the days in january with a tycoon came out with something like uh 24,000 coins uh, somebody who did the same exercise today would probably come out with something around 6,000 coins. So you can imagine then why a first mover advantage is very lucrative and why people do take that first mover advantage risk of joining such a new concept and a new company because they do benefit. That is definitely uh, why people do it. So anyways, what's really great to talk about today is of course I'm going to announce uh, some new trends that uh, we're going to be running now, uh, especially after we've had such an intensive period moving forward from the uh, Macau event and, and the split there. So we're doing now uh, a new promotion that goes out to the total network. But I'll speak more about that a little bit later on. So. If we look at our precious crypto coin, it's actually called One. So One Coin is the umbrella that will work underneath, but the cryptocurrency itself is called O N E One. Now this crypto coin that we are the founders of, because we are the ones who mine the coin together in a pooled mining environment. We have so far already achieved some fantastic goals. If you just think about it, 
when we started this, when we together started mining this coin, of course we were just something very, very small, like a little embryo. But since January, we have already come into the top three list of the largest cryptocurrency due to the fact that we are so many people mining this coin compared to the other coins out there that of course did not build an infrastructure of miners so quickly as we have so we are already on the top three lists on the cryptocurrency industry which is quite fantastic and this is just since january so what's going to happen to this coin or this currency if you think about it a year from now obviously being part of the top three and actually we're the second largest on the bitcoin how difficult is it going to be for us to become number one i think it's going to be not easy but it's definitely not going to be difficult because we grow as a network we grow as an infrastructure of miners miners every single day we're growing and growing and growing and growing which means that the more people who mine the more people who occupy the mining rigs and the pooled mining it means that we do add value by putting more miners in there and obviously the mining difficulty does get pushed up then and this mining difficulty rate does reflect at this point in time the price in this early stage on, on the internal market. Because obviously today there's not enough coins that have been mined, so we cannot go on to a, a public mined exchange and basically launch there because we need, of course, liquidity. Demand and supply are the factors that drive a coin like this. And we definitely need that liquidity. We need enough coins out there, and we need a demand out there as well among merchants, etc. So all these good things are already uh, being produced. It's in the making of, and uh, it's still the the kind of early days. We've had one year so far, so it's the the first infant year of one coin has been passed already we passed it on the 27th of september uh this year that was actually the the macau event and that was the the first year that we actually uh have been doing this one coin and also the mining so it's quite fantastic that we passed that because most of these kind of um networks or companies uh, even concepts, even if it's not a, in, driven by a network uh, in terms of, of getting it popular, it's always very, very tough in any uh, entrepreneur venture the first year. The first year is normally the most sensitive year and where the risk for failure is the highest. So congratulations to Dr. Rusha. Uh, congratulations to uh, all of us who have successfully passed that milestone. So phase one is definitely something we can look back and be proud of and we can say that we have left phase one and now it's time to go into phase two of the development of one coin and also the development of the cryptocurrency one um how we can use this cryptocurrency uh how will it be sort of handled with the merchants etc there's so much content packed into phase two so it's it's definitely a uh, a very exciting time and it's also a time for us to to spread our wings into to new markets we do have obviously a very high penetration of uh, Chinese miners. Uh, also, we have, of course, in Southeast Asia, 
a lot of uh, miners into to one coin and Europe as well. But it's time for us to to spread the wings uh, and because this needs to be a global infrastructure because this coin, of course, this cryptocurrency is used for not only an exchange and speculative purposes. That's only one element of it all. But it, it actually, if we think about it, it's an infrastructure of payments. This uh, one uh, currency is basically uh, a way for us to, to send and receive money globally and also instantly. This is, of course, only one of the, the benefits of uh, cryptocurrency per se, the actual remittance corridors or the remittance business, which is a, a huge business for, for the banks. And obviously, having something like this, we can then use this cryptocurrency as a vehicle for sending and receiving funds. Now, also what we've done, of course, in, in just this uh, small time uh, since January, uh, we have successfully mined 355 million coins, which is a big amount of coins. Now, we know, of course, that there is 2.1 billion available solutions. So this represents, of course, only around 15, 16 percent, something like that. But if you think about it, it's not even been a year in terms of the mining. The mining started in January, and uh, there's still 355 million coins that's already been minted out. And the rigs, as we know them, they only produce what the algorithm tells them to produce. So it's not a matter of just putting more servers in there, it mines faster. Everything is designed as it's as its algorithm has has been set for this cryptocurrency. So <clears throat> this, of course, ladies and gentlemen, is not a short-term project. We do need to get out uh, as much coins. We need to mint out as much coins as possible before we can even open up for the public uh, to, to have a look at this because Actually, the value remains with the miners. Now, if you're mining out, you're minting out these coins, and once you uh, then go onto a public exchange, you become the supply. So when you're the supply, the rest will become the demand. So this is how it works. So definitely, we are in a fortunate situation to have the possibility to do all this mining before anybody else on the internet uh, can touch this. Uh, once it does go uh, onto a public domain, the, the blockchain becomes also very visible uh, for everybody, which basically means that then anybody could also then, at that point in time, start mining one coin uh, directly. So this is one of the... Uh, advantages why you also join this concept called OneCoin. Not only to mine out and mint out the cryptocurrency one, but also and actually more uh, because you do get the right training through the One Academy. The One Academy does bring you through the whole industry of finance, trading, and moreover, looking into these kind of asset classes like cryptocurrency. So it's a fantastic concept, and this is why most people who have had this opportunity in front of them, they've embraced it quite quickly, and they've also really brought on their people from other networks, etc., to really start grabbing the information, start grabbing the value, and start making some real money. So, so definitely, we have had a lot of good things that's happening in phase two, and uh, so in phase one, and now moving up to phase two, we obviously are going to see a lot of new 
content coming out of that and what we can do with our precious coin. But in the meantime, we have to remember that the mining opportunity is the core opportunity. So keep on mining, keep on letting uh, all your <clears throat> relatives or friends or business partners or anybody you actually bump into who understands that cryptocurrency is an interesting opportunity, let them also become a part of the mining because it's important that they get this opportunity. Everybody should have this opportunity to mine. Okay, so regarding the one card, I'm not sure if everybody knows what the one card is, but the one card is uh, <clears throat> the master card that is connected to the OnePay wallet. Now, the OnePay wallet is an e-wallet where we can uh, withdraw uh, commissions, where we can hold funds, and at a later stage, where we can actually hold uh, one as a cryptocurrency, uh, which means that the card, which was uh, announced and showed during the Macau event, and some people already got their hands on, on a card there in Macau, these cards are now available. And you need to get them through the OnePay uh e-wallet so you need to go through the KYC process through the through the e-wallet and basically there uh, when you are approved you have uh, the right to to get a card now what's also quite interesting with the one card is that one card gives us an opportunity to even talk to people who are outside of the network now if they like the one card concept connected with the one pay wallet as a concept now if they sign up for that successfully we get a referral commission on that so that is something very interesting and there'll be more information of course coming out because the next question obviously would be how much so there'll be a lot more information coming out on the the, the single referral commission based on the one card and the one pay wallet so that that's some interesting developments for sure um do go through the kyc for anybody who uh, doesn't know what kyc is it basically stands for know your customer so it's uh, a basic uh, process whereby the same as if you would open a bank account today or and even if you would open an account with, for example, Coinbase, which is trading with Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies, you would have to go through a KYC process. So you have to uh, show your identity through a passport and show that you have a valid address through some kind of utility bill. That's how simple it is. Okay, moving on to what we did launch also in Macau, which is a new product. And a very cool product, actually. This is the OneCoin Cloud. Now, for anybody who understands what a cloud is, it's a drive on the internet where we can store things. So, for all people who have, for example, um, Apple and Macs, they have the iCloud. Uh, you know, now we have the OneCoin Cloud. And why do we have that? Well, obviously, uh, this particular cloud storage service is not like any of the others. This one has a military encryption technology, which basically encrypts everything that you've stored onto this cloud. So it could be passwords, it could be any sensitive data that you hold on this one coin cloud. And the encryption technology makes it impossible for anybody in terms of trying to hack into the system and get your passwords or anything like that. It encrypts the whole situation with your cloud. So this is something very special and a very um, good company uh, who, who does this one coin cloud. They're actually very famous. And uh, this is something that I think all of you should uh, have a look at 
because you can get a basic free access uh, to to the to the cloud just by having only one coin package. So uh, obviously you can also then upgrade to a to a better status in terms of a uh, plus package, and you can get the absolute highest encryption level and the most data. So it could be anything you want to store there, but uh, you know, in today's society where we have so many different smartphones and we have laptops and we have iPads and we have no, we have all these different devices who carry certain information which are important. You can then connect all these devices into the OneCoin cloud and have everything synced up and backed up properly, which is fantastic. So if you would lose, for example, a phone, you would still have all your information uh, on the cloud. It could be photos, it could be any type of data that you have on your phone. So I recommend you guys to, to have a look at that. And uh, again, this was just launched back in, uh, in Macau. There was a presentation by the guys there from that company. We're doing this one coin cloud, and it's really interesting uh, stuff. Uh, so there'll be more information on that, and I'll stop plans how to get more information, but there will be some more information coming out on how you can actually get your hands on a, on a free access, uh, and then later, of course, how you can upgrade to a plus package and uh, get the highest encryption level on your account. Okay, so we have, with the One Academy, some very hot topics. What's actually happened with the One Academy since it started back in September last year? It's actually worked parallel to whatever we were doing with, with the coin and all these things. One Academy has beefed up its content. It's become so much more professional in terms of there are real professors from European universities who are creating content through video etc and they are the ones who are now handling the content of the one academy so like university professors like for example this professor Marchev he is putting new content onto each and single level that we have, one to six. And basically right now, level one and level two have received new fresh material by Mr. Professor Marchev. And I think you all should check it out because it's um, really good stuff. And uh, yeah, this is, one academy is definitely becoming like a real academy and a standalone thing. So it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, we do have six levels today. Uh, obviously, the, the sixth level goes into the uh, premium account. And uh, this is material where you will learn a lot about how you can earn more from trading, how you can earn more from cryptocurrency industry, what are the signals you should be looking at? When is the right time to sell? When is the right time to buy? Things like this. Like it's, it's definitely a course that is worth really a lot. So you should all go through it. it it's, a, it's a very good thing. And when you have done those levels, uh, don't forget to do the quiz. There is a quiz connected to each level, and once you do go through the quiz, you can either pass and receive a certificate, or you can redo the quiz again until you pass. So it's a multiple choice quiz. And of course, if you have those certificates from the One Academy, this makes you much more professional also in your approach when you're building your business, when you're building your network of miners and, and people who really want to come in here, you can just show them that, look, I've done level one, I've done level two, I've done level three, I've done level four, I've done five, and I've done level six of the One Academy. 
So you definitely know what you're talking about when you're explaining cryptocurrency to others, when you are also explaining trading strategies and certain hot topics like that. So this is why I recommend all of you to go through the One Academy. There is, of course, extensive material there that's also being translated into more languages. But as it's so vast amount of information, it, of course, also takes time to get all the languages out there. So uh, a recommendation from my side, even if you're an old member back in, in November, December, January, go back to the One Academy and, and just go through it. Once in a while, just go through it. It'll make you more professional in your, your way of communicating with, with people about uh, cryptocurrency in general, but also how you feel about the whole industry and all these things. So it's, it's very good. Uh, I, re I really recommend it. You also find, of course, the One Academy content in the uh, OneCoin uh, back office. It's in the uh, menu to the left at the very bottom. So you can just go there and, and start learning to earning. OK, now the highlight of today's State of the Nation. I know I've had a lot of the leaders ask me for uh, what's going to happen with some new promotions, what can we do, etc., etc. Of course, we have had promotions running already, but as it is today, today is the 8th of October, we do announce the following uh, official uh, promotions starting as of today. So, new promotions. We do still keep the 10 plus 1 premium. 10 plus 1 basically means if you bank 10, <coughs> 10 premium codes into the company, you will receive one extra premium code. So you have to think about what, how, and when. You cannot just slowly, slowly, slowly bank in three, bank in four, bank in five. You need to accumulate 10, and then you'll get one. That's how 10 plus one works, OK? And the same goes for the tycoon. So 10 tycoons, you get an extra tycoon. Now, what we've also done here is because the, um, the situation with the strategy that we were talking a lot about before when it comes to tycoon upgrading to a premium equaling the four splits, we extend that because it really is something that people really like and they've been asking for it and they said well why do you stop this now etc so we will extend this tycoon upgrade to premium strategy basically giving you 210,000 tokens in the base before the split and then of course you have four splits on top of that so you come out with maximum amount of tokens available for you. And of course, this is also the thing where you can go mining directly. So this makes it a very uh, powerful uh, strategy. And a lot of people who, who really embrace that strategy are very happy to, to benefit from all those tokens being split at the same time as they are mining. Another new package, which is very nice, is the 6 plus 3. So if you do 6 premiums, you will receive 3 pro traders. So if you bank in 6 premium uh, codes to the company, you will receive 3 pro trader codes. Now what is very important is when you talk to accounting, when you report into the company, you actually need to send in what codes belongs to what payments. So, for example, if I have six premiums, I would then in my Excel file to accounting, I would put the six premium codes that I've sold. And I would say that this bank wire belongs to these six premium codes. That is how you can easily communicate with accounting 
and easily get those extra three pro trader codes. The same goes for the, the 10 plus one on the premium and the 10 plus one on the tycoon. Now, when it comes to Coin Vegas, there was also a lot of information coming out of the Macau event, and there'll be some special Coin Vegas webinars and also some meetings later on, because Coin Vegas is also one of those opportunities where we can build a two-faced business. So, for example, if I have a position, I can build a one-coin business at the same time i can build a coin vegas business on the same position meaning that i can actually if i hold the tycoon status i can max out up to thirty-five thousand euros on both businesses so it basically means seventy thousand euros per week on one position if i successfully had built both my one coin business and my coin Vegas business. So this is definitely interesting and we need to learn more about coin Vegas and what we can do there. So we are going to have some more specialized webinars and for all you guys who uh, actually uh, have been involved in some kind of uh, online gaming uh, companies before, I'm sure you do have uh, some good contacts there and uh, please contact me also uh, the leaders who know me uh, if you want to set up some kind of coin vegas online seminar uh, we can actually do and invite a lot of people to that seminar that like this type of business we can then do some uh, good uh, online meetings there to get it going so uh, this is definitely going to be like a new start for a lot of people who already have maxed out their positions with one coin and uh, really want to move into something like uh, uh, an online gaming situation so there's also a promotion there basically the champion package which is the biggest package in coin vegas there you do get six plus one so if you bank in six champion codes you will receive one extra champion code now, that is actually a very, very aggressive uh, promotion. Uh, you know, the champion codes are worth 5,000 euros each. And uh, this is something that a lot of the leaders, they use it to stimulate also their network. So they either cash it out and they do something special with it or travel with the money, or they just basically reinvest those codes directly down in their network and start earning those big, big commissions. So this is how you should use these promotions to your benefit, to be able to run, to be able to grow your network in a fast and good manner. So ladies and gentlemen, this was the State of the Nation of 8th of October, 2015. I am very happy to give you this updates and I hope that uh, most of you on the call speak English because that is the language that we do have on these state of the nations. Of course, one coin is represented in 194 countries. So obviously it's very difficult for me to speak all those languages. So we just stick to the language that we can handle properly, which is English on the state of the nation. Now, if there's any other uh, type of uh, languages being spoken or they don't understand this, you need to then translate this information and you can actually do your own webinars with your people in your own local language. So if you do need the State of the Nation presentations, just let me know and I can send it to you and you can actually um, translate them into your local languages and give the updates that way yourself. We also record these State of the Nations and the company does uh, put them up onto the YouTube channel uh, as much as they can. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Again, State of the Nation is every Thursday, every single week. I am your host, Sebastian Greenwood. I'm the first guy in the network. 
and uh, we do these State of the Nation calls 11 p.m. Hong Kong time and 5 p.m. Central European time. I'm very glad to see that there's so many people on these calls and I hope you guys are having a great, great week. Please work with these promotions as much as you can and really start pushing now. Because remember, the more we push, the closer we are to a split, the closer we are to more coins in our wallets. So keep on pushing, everybody, and I will see you on the next State of the Nation. Take care and God bless.